If you're in the mood to laugh, we've got just the book for you this Wednesday. And if you're a fan of Tina Fey, Amy Schumer, and every other funny woman, the girl in the show is just for you. Joining me now to talk about this is book critic Gwen Reyes. She's the founder of the website FreshFiction.com. Gwen, thanks for stopping by. So these are some funny women I just mentioned. Yeah. But we're also talking about some serious themes here. Like Absolutely. Feminism, like right? feminism and pay, or, uh, pay disparity within the comedy industry, mm. actual time, which is another way that men uh, kind of control how women are put on stage. So that's one of the things that's discussed in this book, which I thought was really fascinating. And since it is um, National Women's Month, it's a perfect time mm -hmm. to talk about it. So let's talk about the format, because I understand mm -hmm. there are a series of interviews. Yes, so book? there's a series of interviews, because what um, Anna Fields, who's the author, what she's trying to do in this is to span three generations of comedy. Wow. So she starts with Lucille Ball mm -hmm. for I Love Lucy and Classic. talks about sort of her hand and trying to get more attention in women in, in industry. She was also the first woman to portray an interracial racial marriage on television, mm -hmm. which a lot of people don't really think right. about because it's so iconic. Um, and then we have Gilda Radner, who was the first female cast member of SNL. And so we talk to people who knew her during the time. And then this ends with Abby Jacobson, who is the uh, showrunner and co-star of the show Broad City. So this is a nonfiction. This is nonfiction. But we're also learning a lot of history while yes. I would assume she also mixes in some humor with this, oh, right? Absolutely. How would you classify she's, this? She's, I, I would definitely classify this more as a nonfiction book that is touching that is the subjects of these people of the uh, books are all uh, comedians okay. and uh, she likes to call she came up with a new phrase called comedian ballerinas oh, that's so interesting. I know I thought it was kind of <laughs> weird I was like all right you can just say comedian that's fine um, but what I thought was really cool about this is that she wants to kind of touch onto these very serious subjects but with a lighter hand sure. and a lot of these interviews that she does they're all kind of joking about things with their tongue in their cheek which is really fun so I'm wondering the age group that would be mm -hmm. appropriate for this book are we talking younger girls more so adult women? I would say probably like um, older high school, but most likely college into their mid-30s, because okay. this is really sort of characters that they know, because they're interviewing YouTube stars, they're interviewing um, cu current comedians, so it's got a little bit of everybody, and there's going to be people in there that they're, nobody's going to know, so that's really <laughs> fun, too. There were people in there that I was like, I don't know who these people are. But you learn a lot. So yes. the thing is, when, you, when you're done reading this book, do you walk away as a woman feeling empowered, or are you kind of just bashing men along the way is that part of the no uh, that you know it's a really great point that you bring that up because yes of course there's touching into we've the seen that happen we've definitely right. seen that happen where it's just kind of let's take down the patriarchy mm -hmm. but in this one it's really kind of holding the women up higher nice. and also talking about their flaws and talking about their struggles and um, I think that that was what sort of held this book out in a different way and it's trying to be academic but it's a lot more accessible than some of the books that you would read in like women's studies classes different approach mm -hmm. I like it well thanks for stopping by Gwen sounds like a good read so you can enjoy that as you continue on with this spring break, nice weather, but of course, there are changes coming.